Direct. All right, here we go. We rolling. Give me a countdown or something. Player, give me a countdown. One. Hold on, I got to get this gum on my mouth. <laughs> 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 my son just yakety yakking over there. Just a good yakety yak over there, huh? Just chewing and chewing. Huh? Oh, man, Shaq Diesel. How was your birthday? Yeah, it was terrible. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I got you. Why you doubting me for? How dare you? Do you want me to go on another rant? That's what you want, huh? No. <laughs> you want another yeah, rant. Yeah. You want another one, don't it? All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's get All right, let's get to the mic. Countdown. But we got five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, AP. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening, people. It's your boy AP coming to you live with the AP show where we articulate that progression, people. You know what I'm saying? Once again, this is episode two. Feeling real good, feeling real great. Hope y'all doing the same. Hope y'all got y'all popcorn out. Hope y'all got y'all pens and pencils out. You know what I'm saying? We, we, y'all need to take notes on this one. Y'all definitely need to take notes on this one, man. So this week, we're going to be talking about support. Support and how, how important it is to have it, to give it. You know what I mean? Some people say it's free. We gonna we gonna we gonna chop it up about that a little bit more in depth. I don't really think it's free, but support, you know, it goes a long way. It definitely goes a long way. So yeah, man, who y'all damn. So good. Keep so it going. Good. You got Rell in the building. You got Shaq <laughs> Diesel in the building. I was just about to get it. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> got a lot on the mix It's okay. Right now. You heard? We're going to bring it home. It's this is going to be a special episode. That's a big fact. We're we going we gonna, we gonna, right we gonna to give you the real deal. You That's know what I'm absolutely, saying? Absolutely. It's your boy Rell got the Leaf Gang in the building. Red uh -huh, Order. You know the uh -huh. vibes. Got my boy Shaq Diesel. Shaq, Shaq said, yeah, it's your boy Shaq. Shaq. <laughs> Shaq. Pass the bowler. Come you know, on, man. Here. Pass the bowler, Derek here. Fisher. <laughs> always here, always here. That's a big fact. Always Diamond here. in the cut. That's how we do it. That's how we giving it up. But I mean, yeah, man, for y'all that don't know, ArticulateProgressionRecords.com. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? That's the website, the YouTube channel. Let's go. I need you to like, subscribe comment that's what we doing this for we up in it people we up in it so if y'all haven't y'all need to go log into y'all youtubes right now get in tune with that channel see what we got going on a lot of dope things for you artists a lot of value we offer into the game so yes sir tap in with us tap in with us tap in with us so yeah people support support um it's very important all aspects of life you know what i'm saying especially in the game that that we in the music business the entertainment industry people um, tend to kind of weigh on it, in my personal opinion, a little bit too much. You know what I mean? Like they have this saying right now, support is free. Um, I really don't think so. I think I think encouragement is free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what I'm trying to show speak, you? Speak on it a little bit more with encouragement is free. Absolutely, you know, it don't cost nothing to say, great job, mm -hmm. keep going, do what you gotta do. You look good, baby. That's that's normal. That's normal stuff. You know what I'm saying? Some people might call it support, but I really think that's encouragement. You know what I'm saying? A little inspiration, a little motivation to keep you in your bag. So so what do you, what do you think is support exactly? Then? Support uh, is a little bit different. It goes a little bit further. <laughs> you know what I mean? It definitely goes a little bit further. What'd you say? Talk about it. Talk, <laughs> talk about it. It's a big fact. It definitely goes a little bit further because that that entails a little bit more effort on the on the, on the third party. You know what I mean? Because look, if you have a show supporting the show, somebody has to take time out to come show you some love, right? To right. come stand in the crowd, or if you have a mixtape out, they gotta take some time, get on the iTunes, right? Download, probably load up their card information. <laughs> you know allegedly, what I mean? allegedly, we're, we're allegedly. trying to get transactional, people. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to get transactional. But um, yo, yeah, yo, let me ask you because you know, I, I I've been dealing with this music thing for a while, and um, I I don't really ask for support, and yeah. let me tell you why I don't. I want people to be able to make the choice. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, you know, you'll ask for support and you're kind of uh, 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 getting in the way of a person making the decision on if they rock with your content or not. For sure. And then, you know, you got to give space for um, people to support you how they see fit. Because sometimes you be like, yo, share, comment, like, blah, 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 blah. 
And I get it, you know what I'm saying, because of the algorithm and everybody want exposure uh -huh. and, you know, I understand yeah. all of that. Uh -huh. But sometimes a person's not from that era. That's it. Sometimes a person may say, yo, you got a CD with your music on? Because I'm trying to bump this in my Buick. <laughs> you never know. You never know. You never know. It you know goes, saying? it's all subjective. All subjective. And that's my point. That, that's really what I wanted to share with y'all tonight because people tending to win this support thing a little bit too... They, they, they lean in a little bit too much on it. Because, look, you got to support yourself first, people. You got to get in your bag and make sure that you are doing everything in your possible power to support what you're doing first. And as long as you add in value to the, to the, to the space, people going to come. People going to come. They going to support how they see fit. You know what I mean? It, it, might, it might come with a, with, a, with a... Might just come with a pat on the back. You never know, but... It, it it comes how it comes, and that's how you got to take it. You can't really weigh on the support thing. I see too many artists, too many creatives talking about, oh, support is free, no support, uh, your peoples, maybe your family. Go check your family if you're looking for that type of love. But, you know, here's the wild part. I'm going to play devil's advocate. At the same time, I could get where they coming from as an artist. And True. let me tell you why, right? Being an artist, being a creative is a very expensive thing. It is. And the risk to reward sometimes does not pay off. And, you know, when I think I see a lot of artists asking for support or creatives asking for support, it's it's really based on them wanting to continue what they got going on. Absolutely. And they need the financial backing. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of artists, you know, obviously in this game is independent. For sure. Um, a lot yeah. a lot of them is, you know, they independent not by their own choosing, but just because of their circumstances. And, you know, that support, that extra share leads to an extra stream, Absolutely. which, you know, leads to extra sale, which then allows them to re-up in their career. For sure. So, you know, support is necessary. Absolutely. And that's really what, what I wanted to, that's, that's what we're getting to, because at the end of the day, you have to have something to support. Mm. If you're not really getting transactional or, you know, you're just looking for a pat on the back, it, it really it really can't go no further than that. S speak on that a little bit more, um, having something to support. Absolutely. Like a good product. Speak on that. Absolutely. Speak on that. And that's what I mean. A lot of these cats now, they I think it's a hobby for them because they're not really putting putting anything in the in the marketplace in terms of product. You know mm. what I mean? Like a view is a view. You mean but as in like what merch? It could be merch. It could be a, a digital download. It could be anything that's transactional. Mm -hmm. Because understand, this is the music business. Right, right. It's a little bit deeper than just uh, keep going, bro. Or that was dope. <laughs> yeah. It's it's way yeah. deeper than that. So it, it's got to be a value exchange. Absolutely. That's what you're saying. And that is monetary the exchange. Pardon Mon me. That's the value. Can't equate the dollars as well. You see yeah. what I'm saying? I'll show you. Yeah. So that's really what we what we getting at tonight. Value and 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 how how that lines up with support. Let me let us speak on um support, particularly with like AP Records and just your experience with people supporting your brand, you know, the movement, the diamond. Absolutely. You know, let's talk a little bit about that and, and times where, you know, that support kept you going and in times when that, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. So when we first started this thing, um, I, I had a lot of people around me that was doing music, that was into the business, that knew people, that knew people. You know, I, I've always prided myself in, in, in having legitimate alignments. And when I first started doing this thing, I kind of noticed that the people that knew me for real, that really knew where I was coming from, I didn't really see them around. You know what I mean? And it took it took a little toll on me in the beginning. How so? In terms of just like we saying support, yeah. Did <laughs> support. you did you get mad like bitter? Was you like yo? Come not on, really like, bitter. Not yeah. really bitter because we don't really come yeah. from that era. We 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 just focus on getting better. Because some niggas get mad. Oh, they absolutely. get bitter. Absolutely. Like, yo, why you ain't share my shit? This like, is right, really bro. what this conversation is about to right. smooth that out because yeah. it ain't about getting bitter. It really ain't about that. It's about getting better. So I took that with a grain of salt and I understood that it's about work. You know what I mean? It's 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 like all right, cool. You ain't really fucking with me right now. We gonna get it going. We moving regardless, and that's really what it boils down to: keeping the ball rolling, keeping the, keep up in the ball, and 
like you said, the support gonna come and it might not come from the place where you think it should come from. Yo, that's facts. Cause I ain't gonna lie, most of the support, uh, like true supporters, it come from people, if you're able to reach to that market, it come from people that, I hate to say it in the creative, the creative music game, so to speak, it come from people that don't look like you. It's true. It don't come from, it don't come from people that, you know what I mean? It's basically a community. Cause you gotta think about it like this: like most people that come from the hoods that we come from, they right. rap too, they it's make true. music too. It's true. So it's they like, all right, yeah, they, you, I right, share my shit. Well, you share my shit, and then it becomes like, like a tip for tap. Yeah, man. and then that ain't really. It, that's not real love. Yeah, it's not real. That's not. You know what I'm saying? Love. It's not real. Meanwhile, you'll get somebody from Germany or something that you never even thought he was tapped in, and he's like, windows. yo. Yo, I love what you're doing. I, I share with all my friends. That's a different type of level of support. Different, different. And to to tap back into that point, um, I think that's because people that really know you, they 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 think they know you. They <laughs> they've known you for so long, so they they put a cap on you. It's like mm. I know this dude. Like you know, he cool. He but I don't really think he going to take it there. So they only see what's in front of them. Mm. But the people, like he said, the people from Germany, the people from, from out, out of your zone, out of your community, they see, they see what's in front of them. They see the person you're becoming, the person you're trying to be. So that's what you got to stand on out here, people. Mm. Forget about your past selves and your, your past alignments, especially when you're striving to be a creative. Yo, it's about pushing that envelope and pushing through. You you know what get tricky though? I was watching this thing um with Nardo Wick and he said that he went to twenty of his family members. Yeah. And out of twenty, I think only I'm paraphrasing, so I might get this wrong, but only two actually supported him towards his music career. That's real numbers. Could you could you tap in and talk a little bit about like family and how that could get mixed up with family support? Cause sometimes Family could support too much. <laughs> they can overstep their boundaries, and, and next thing you know, you know your <laughs> your mom want to advise you in your music career. <laughs> she ain't make a lick of a rap. She ain't do nothing or nothing. Be a and she's a, she's prime. She worked for Interscope Records, and Jimmy Iovine is her best friend. Oh, you know, and shit. When they made beats by Dre, they was inspired by her. And it's like, nigga, where was all these stories at before? It's so talk, talk a little bit about that. It's you know deeper I mean? than rap. It's deeper than rap. Well, look, I don't really got too much, too much family, man. You know what I mean? But the ones that are tapped in, they definitely try their best to support as much as they could. You know what I mean? And that 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 goes back into the encouragement. You know. And that's very much needed. That that's an aspect of support. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of one and the same. You know, we all need that push. We all need that motivation sometimes, especially when we down in the dumps. It's very very important. But for the creators right now, I want y'all to understand. Y'all gotta turn y'all situation into a transactional deal. Mm. This is a business. Out the gate. Give the people yeah. something to, to support, buy. to buy, to buy, to really. Cause look, mm -hmm. when we go, when we go to Target, right, we see a brand new brand on the shelf. That's support. You like, you know what? Let me let me try this out. Mm -hmm. Let me try this new um, this whatever it is. And that's really what we have to start looking at ourselves as. And maybe you could you could turn that turn that love that encouragement into something that could really really. Push the game forward. You see, I'm trying to show you line mm -hmm. that account, people. That's what we all here trying to do. So please, man, when you talk about support, make sure that you're using it in the right context. Yeah, that's it's very th important. Th again, it get tricky. Support is one of them things that get tricky because there's really no set manuscript. There is no. Everybody's version of support is different. That's a fact. But the wild part is when you start coming up, then you start getting people who they like to masquerade as they're your supporters, but yeah. they really users in disguise. Yeah, they vultures. They vultures. That's they come what, in the leech because you done do. built something. That's I never supported you one day. Talk about it, Shaq. Come on, Shaq. Come on, yeah, Shaq. Shaq. Come on, Shaq. It. Get nah, into it now. Talk honestly, about it, Shaq. Though, honestly, though, like, for me... I think most people don't support people because they don't like their their music or what they yeah, got going believe. on. Yeah, they don't believe in it. So it's like, 
for me to go there and ask for your support, most people don't want to know that they don't believe in them. But you know what's tricky, though? What? If Drake reposted, let's say, a Lacey Perk record, then out of nowhere, yo, I was with Lacey from the bottom. That's a fact. I was supporting. No, you were not, That's a sir. Fact. Respect yourself, sir. Very important. So, you know, it get tricky. Very important. It get important. tricky. Very like, important. not. Very important. Very you know, important. Support, man. I, I really think when it's done from a genuine place and, and it's done from a place where whoever's the person supporting you really enjoys what you're doing and they right. don't feel obligated to do it, then that support turns into a base. That's unconditional. You know what I'm saying? You get a couple of supporters, now you got a fan base. Talk, uh, talk about that. A you know, cult following. That's talk what about we're that. really trying to do this for. You know what I mean? Any creative right now, that should be what you're trying to build. A space where people can come through and, and, and gain, not only take from, but gain and also add. We, you know, you got to create that space for, for, for greatness to flourish. And that's very, very, very important. You can't, it's not a me thing. Mm. It's not a me thing. It's not like, oh, oh support me, support me. How you gonna get support and you've never supported anybody? You've never mm, been in the uh -huh. stance mm. clapping for nobody. See, that's the thing. You see what I'm saying? People don't that's understand. It go. Thing. It's a reciprocation thing, and that's what this thing boils down to. How can you be out here looking for support and you've never been in the stance? But you know what's wild though? You know what's wild now? Talk to me. Because see, we were talking about this in the car, right? Eh? Yeah. Social media. Social it's a lot media. of mental illness. Wow. We all kind of going through some mental illness. They so, need uh, uh, help. They need we need we need help. Yo. <laughs> I was I scrolling really, past something. I, I ain't gonna hold you. I was scrolling. I try my best to use it as a tool, people. Yo, when I'm done with social, Yo. I delete it. But Yo. then I find myself coming right back to it. It's drugs. It's drugs. It's drugs. And the wild part It's drugs. I ain't gonna I, lie. The wild part with the support. If y'all like if two rappers do the same thing, social media has created such a a fantasy world that you could genuinely rock with an artist. Yeah. But now a lot of artists be insecure Facts. because they be like, I don't want D Rod. Yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, whack. it's corny. It's corny. 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 Because guess what? In real time, right? You will want in real time, you will want it to be that way, right? You will want to see that person pull up to your spot, pull up to your show, buy a piece of merch. So it's like, how could it really be D riding? How could it be? It's tricky. It's tricky. I mean, it's, it's tricky. It's not tricky if that's your, if that's your family, if that's somebody that you say that you fuck with like that. You feel For me? sure. Like, I don't think it should be tricky. But you know what For though? Sure. It's human nature, and let me explain. See, there's a saying. People, People want to see you do good, but not better than them. them. That's a big fact. That's true. That's, that's, a, that's another huh? disease. That's huh? another so how disease. can I support? This, this is human nature. nature. Look, let's, let's not, not act like we not human, human beings. We live in a competitive era Absolutely. like ever before. You got millions of people accessible to who you are via your social media platform Absolutely. and your digital avatar. That's a big So fact. we living in a space and time where things are different. It's bigger than just the loved ones. That's the easy stuff. It's true. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the true. easy stuff. And it, it's tricky. It is. Man. Tricky. Like, it really, really is, man. Like, your loved ones are always going to be there to encourage you. Yeah, man. but when, when you get old, this place, when you, in the marketplace. Don't, don't shine too much on your loved ones. Come on. It, it'll go from... Could I hold a couple of... It'll go from... Yeah. I remember when you didn't have nothing to... Could Word. I hold a hundred thousand? It'll get tricked. Till I hold... Could I... I supported Quick. you. Quick. I was there. I was there. You don't remember me? You don't remember... <laughs> this this cousin is such and such. Real tricky. Because not all support, good support. Nah. Oh, let's let's talk about it. Could yeah. you... I'm gonna go... Can I go there? You go there. Can I go? Let's do it. You'll get support... From a certain community, I ain't gonna say the names. Yeah. I ain't gonna say the letters. That's and true. it could be genuine support. That's true. But then you a particular artist or creative and your brand represents something and now you got the support of something and it don't look good with your brand. Yeah, that's true. Shit get really tricky. Like that's you see what's going on with um Joe Rogan? 
You, yeah. you follow Joe Rogan? Yeah. You follow Joe Rogan? Yeah. Yeah. So Joe Rogan, right? That's Fear um, Factor, right? Yeah, Fear it's Factor. He's, factor. he's got the number one platform, podcast platform in the world. Okay. He's number one. Now, I do know Charles. Shows. I do know $20 million dollar deal with Spotify. That's heavy. Right? That's heavy. So he had two people on um, to talk about, you know, the situation okay. that we got going on globally. And they had opposing views. And these were credentialed doctors. Mm-hmm. Right? So this is Spotify. Yeah. Number one breadwinner on the podcast. Mm-hmm. And there was two musicians that withdrew their entire musical catalog because they didn't support what Joe Rogan which did, is. which is putting somebody who's been credentialed doctors yeah. talking certified. about this situation. Certified. Yeah. Board certified, RNA, variety, whatever they call them, people. Yeah. All of the high-end doc- He had them on the platform with an opposing view. And guess what happened? Spotify is now putting a certain advisory on his content. Well, it's not his content in general. It's the COVID-19. Well, you can't say, look, look, look. Let's not even do that. Yeah, we don't say those words. <laughs> yeah, not on this platform. Not on this platform. <laughs> if you want to, let's just make it clear. If y'all want to support, and we, we speak in, 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 in code when we talk about you know, Everything. yeah, you know what I'm saying? The 19 100%. pieces on the checkerboard, if you get me. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? But he took, he put people on the platform, doctors, credentialed doctors that was opposing the Jabberwockies. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was opposing the Jabberwockies. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And now Spotify is in a tough position wow. because they can no longer stand... With him with fully, him. Yeah. because more artists is going to withdraw their catalog, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and who knows what they're getting paid on the back end That's to do fact. that. And now, Spotify's darling, prime breadwinner, number one podcast, may not get the support of the larger parent yeah. company, yeah. That's heavy. So ain't that something? You see that? And that's that's how support go, people. Tricky. It's levels to it. It's definitely levels to it. But only thing I could tell y'all, man, is create a space where y'all are cultivating genuine support, mm. genuine love. You don't want none of that fake shit around. Just keep it far. Keep it real, real far because it's detrimental to progress. It's detrimental to what, what you have going on, your team. So try to keep the love real. Keep the su- support sustainable because, like you said, look, Sp- Spotify will disown your ass <laughs> if, if it gets tricky. You know it's called D platform now. Yeah, That's the term. It, 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 it's tricky with the support. So just make sure that you create a space so people can come through genuinely, mm-hmm. show you love, show love to what you got going on. And you know, you just keep it moving and grooving how you know best, man. And, and, and all support ain't good. Like I said, child support. Come on. <laughs> That's not even going there. We never going to go there. We, we never going there. Go but there. hold on, hold on. We're dealing with that type of support. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't want that support. Blessings, <laughs> blessings. Keep that over there. Yeah, blessings to you, um, people. I want to ask you something, though, AP. Talk to me. Before it slip my mind, man. Uh, What's the difference between a supporter and a customer? Mm. That's a good question. Come on now. That's a good question. Let's break it down. So now, like we said earlier, support, encouragement, motivation, all these things are aligned. Um, A supporter is somebody that's going to call you and check on you, be like, yo, where you at? I ain't see the podcast this week. I've been checking for you. I've been sharing. I've been telling people, pull up 8 p.m. Eastern. Where you at, Pam? You ain't, you ain't moving and grooving. What we doing? What we doing? That's support. That's somebody that's going to come through, check on you, make sure that you're doing everything in your power to keep the ball rolling. That's free of charge, people. Right? Mm-hmm. But now the customer, the custy, can also support. But he's coming through seeking value, Mm -hmm. seeking something in return, people. And that's really what we have to get into if we want to be successful business people. Because trust me, people that fuck people, pardon me, people that love you, they going to come through 
and support you unconditionally because the love is real. Let me ask customers now. Yeah. They ain't spending a dime with you if you ain't offering no value. As a business what man. What are you bringing me, people? As a businessman, would you rather supporters or customers? Because you don't, because you you don't support Amazon, but you a customer of Amazon. Of course, okay, that's, that's okay. But question, the man. key word to that right there is as a business person. As a businessman, you as, APC CEO records. AP as records. a businessman, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. This is for me because it's all subjective, right, people? For me. I need both. Okay, oh, have it. They can't cheat. Don't cheat. <laughs> <I> you, <need laughs> both. That's a Kadasi okay. answer. That's a good. He wants I the flaws. No, I need both. That's a good. No, you can't have all both. Right, all right, all right. You can't. I can't have you both. As a businessman. As a businessman. Man, I, I need the customers. Ah, I'm not gonna lie. Talk about it. I need the customers. I gotta be completely honest. Don't get it twisted. We all get down in the dumps as businessmen. Uh -huh. We all need the motivation. We all need the pat on the back, right? Uh -huh. But we With got bills, motivation. baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. We got bills, baby. Yeah. So the customers is so essential. You, you know what's ill too? So the rent can't get paid without y'all. <laughs> could, could I ask something? Too? Talk to me now. You know why I agree with you on the customer side? Yeah. Because the supporter comes in with a bias, and the supporter could go from your number one fan to drop you like a bad to, habit. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, that, and one thing about that custy boy, you got that good product. That custy go on oh, no. Facebook, <laughs> regardless, he, Amazon he could do whatever. A friend, he bring it up. And, and Amazon too. could do whatever. Walmart could do whatever. That's it don't matter. That's they got good product. That's a they ain't fact. even gotta have good customer service. That's a fact. They just got the custody. Nah, Shaq, what you think? Real, what you think? Nah, that's for real. Walmart definitely doesn't have good customer service. <laughs> Damn, you feel know. I me? Mean? Like most of these places that you have, most have, of them don't got good customer uh -huh. service. Most of these retail places don't have good customer mm -hmm. service. Yeah, that's but, a fact. But the main fact that they have things that you need. You're gonna pull up. You're gonna pull up. That's You're gonna find it your damn self. You gonna walk the aisle three times till you find it. Yeah, let me, let me, let me. Oh man, I got another one. Talk to me now. You on fire this I, I, I do this. I do this. You is first not of all, playing first, tonight. First of all, I do this. Yeah. Respectfully, if you so, see so. my rant, go on my page. <laughs> well, I got though. I'm telling you, any room I step in, I understand it. I maximize on the opportunity. And I stand out. That's what I do. I can't even help it. That's but it. we on the AP record show. So it's important because AP's whole goal is to give the game. That's and so I'm going to ask these provoking questions Absolutely. to lead to some game. For How can an artist turn a supporter into, into a customer? Now we getting somewhere. Come close with Mike. Close now we getting somewhere. Yeah, Hold yeah, on. They, Let me fix this yeah, thing yeah. right here. Can you hear me now? Mike, check. Oh, <laughs> man. Let me tell you. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. If you're a starving artist, I don't care what you could be making NFTs. I don't care what you're doing. The goal is to turn the people that are in the cloud and the crowd clapping for you into the people that's spending their dollars with you. Mm. And that's all founded, like I said before, in experience you're creating. If you can create a space where they can feel comfortable enough or have enough faith in your product, in your brand, mm. to spend a hard-earned dollars, people, if we're not creating those spaces, you're not in the music business. Yo, I, I seen this thing with Fat Joe. Oh. It's a snippet. Shout out to Fat Joe. Yeah. I met Fat Joe when I was younger. He signed my Air Jordan 4. Joey Crack. <laughs> Shout out to In the Bronx, player. 231st. Crack the dog. You know what I'm saying? In Riverdale, he used to go to this buffet space, and I seen him, and I was like, oh, that's Joe. That's Fat Joe, the dog called the Yo, right. I, let me get your autograph. He said, yo, right. little homie, take your shoe off. I said, yo, yeah. <laughs> it's different. I was like, I was like, you know what I mean? It's yeah. different. But he said something which was ill, and I want you to um elaborate on it because I think it's, it's in total alignment with what we're talking about in terms of making music, being yeah. creative. Yeah. He said... He sat down with a producer or somebody that makes music, and he he was like, yo, the, his house was amazing, beautiful house. And he sat Fat Joe down, right? And he said, you know, I didn't start making money, um, and the reason why I didn't start making money in the music game 
and I'm paraphrasing, is because I was making music for the gangsters. This is what Fat Joe said. I was he making music was, for the hustlers. He was. But when I sat down with this other producer, he said, I started to pay attention to his catalog, and he was like, I, I realized that he was making music for women. And that's why he was so rich. In fact, Joe ended the conversation with he didn't start getting to a music bag until he started making money. I mean, he started making music yeah. for women. Yeah. So now you as a CEO, yeah. person who's worked with artists, executive produced artists, yeah. could you touch on the ideology and the mentality between a male supporter and a woman supporter, and a woman supporter in the music game? Oh, man. They're, 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 they are the cult. They, they are the... That's where you want to be. Mm. These dudes, all these dudes want to do is um, listen to some shit that make them feel like they Superman so they could go do whatever they got to do. It's an ego thing, right? But with the women, they really love the music. You can create a vibe for the women to get comfortable. Oh, man, they singing you. They, they singing your hook in the shower. Mm. <laughs> they getting dressed to your hook. You mm. understand? They getting their TikToks right through your joint. Mm -hmm. They are making sure they going above and beyond to let themselves, the people around them, and everybody else watching know that you are the shit. You know what I mean? So as an artist, the women should be the target. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt, those are the ones that's coming through. They spending their bag. Mm -hmm. They coming to the spot. They popping the bottles. They bringing the gang. Mm -hmm. They getting crazy. Mm -hmm. They getting crazy. They making sure they going to be there for you. And that's the difference. Shaq, right. talk about it, Shaq. I mean, honestly, when it comes to the music game and, like, as in, like, them coming out and supporting, definitely top first. Because mm -hmm. they'll come out and go to your concerts and go to your shows and go to everything. But throw them panties on the stage <laughs> before playing. <laughs> that's the and and, and they do better that. smell good when you throw them. You feel me? And, and nine times out of ten, if, if you come oh, out... Oh, throwing them to, back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boy, yeah. If you go out to these shows, <laughs> you're, you're really looking at the females that's in the, the crowd. You know what I mean? That's what you're going to really see. And you're not going to really see most of your homeboys that's there. Fact. You're not going to see most of your family that's there. Mm -hmm. You're going to see the females. Yo, true. got another one. I'm a, you gosh, fight here that we go. Because we artists. We creators. Yeah. We make music. We furnish artists. We and this is produce. the balance for y'all yeah. people. This is the balance. You might not see those voices. Yeah. But trust me, they are here to keep the balance to make sure that you people behind that camera are getting the most value out of the conversation. Here we go. Here's another one. What happens if you're, let's say you're an artist, you got a fan base, right? Yeah. And your fan base, the demographic of your fan base is 16 to 22 all white kids. And they pull up to your show, right? <laughs> Yeah. And and then there's some lines where you dropping that N word. <laughs> yeah, but and you look at the crowd and they scream that N word. Too, no, they're screaming it. <laughs> are they supporters? They're screaming it. Or, or 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 are they are they supporters or are they patrons of the zoo? And let me explain something to you. <laughs> explain something to you. So everybody will talk the hood stuff and da 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 da. Yo. But you bring some of them kids from their comfy lifestyle into the areas where we grow up. And it's like they watch zoo animals. It's true. When we conduct ourselves. So is that support? Nah. It's, is it or are they being entertained by the zoo animals? Nah, it's support. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, go. I, I'm, I'm an avid concert goer. I've been to a few concerts in my day. Mm -hmm. uh, I can even tell you one in, in particular. Rick Ross. It was an MMG concert. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> MMG concert. It okay. wasn't even just Rick Ross by itself. Mm -hmm. I think Gunplay was there. Shout out to Gunplay. Yo, That's one of my favorite artists from that whole camp. Dope. Raw. Yeah. But um, I'm keeping the band on that line outside. It was line. <sighs> what was the age? 16 to 22? Yeah, I'd say 16, 23, 16, Yo. 24. Mm -hmm. Flooded. Word. With teenage white suburban kids. Out of MMG. I'm a suburban. <laughs> Yo, I mean, but if you think about it, most of your support and your, your fan base is teenagers. But hold on, but hold on. But when you drop certain words, could they sing along? 
and how and how because I ain't gonna lie. It's subjective. It's subjective. I can't. I can't. Like, look, I'm gonna be real. As an artist, if I'm dropping and I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing. Making music in the crowd and they saying everybody pumped up. All right, yeah, I let yeah, it fly. Come but on. if somebody say it to me personally, personally, personally and it's a yeah, like, it, like if like if because I had that. Yo, hey, I had that. I did a session one time. Yeah, let me tell you a story, Shaq. I did a session one time. Yeah, with my boy Reese Geller, white kid from Long Island, super talented. Uh huh. And he introduced me into some other. Can I curse? Yeah, yeah. He introduced me to some mother nitwit, yeah. a poo putt, yeah. in the in the highest level of poo puttery. Yeah, and he's in there talking this down the third n word. I said, "Yo, cuz, get out my studio." Yeah, that's different. Get out. Now, that's but am different. I a hypocrite though? Because no if way. I got a song, no way. Nah, am no I a hypocrite? Because no I'm getting ready to slap son. Same kid. Yeah, because I'm getting ready to slap son. If that same kid if jumped up on the show, stage, yeah. And some what you on stage, word for word. I can't and slap him. slap that nigga out <laughs> on stage. What you gonna do? You gonna be right there with him like, yeah, my nigga. I'm gonna do that. Do that. Wrap that shit. Pay this ticket. But yeah, yeah. remember though, but it comes sh- down to that though. If you think about it now, if you rapping and you doing all of that, like you you're doing it so that people can imitate what you're doing. Facts. You, you're you're making it so that they can rap your song or sing your song. So that's what you want them to do. So you can't get upset if the person want to jump on. The see, that was a good that. one, Shaq. I can't yeah, see. I can't yeah, argue with that. Good job, Shaq. In the moment, it is good what job, it is, Shaq. people. I, I'm just getting, you know, moving it forward. Nah, it's very very important. It's very very important, man. And look. Support goes a long way, people, a long way, and it's all subjective. I really wanted to touch on that topic tonight because I want y'all to, a lot of y'all, not all, but a good few, to get out of this whole support bag and just work. Mm. Give the people something that they cannot deny, and they'll come. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, let's stop with the whole support, support, support. Just get in the bag and stay there. And trust me, they going to come. They going to come. Let your work talk for itself. It's mm-hmm. very, very important, man. That's really mm-hmm. what this platform is all about. You know what I mean? We hitting y'all with some core values right now. With some core values that I think every artist, every creative needs to understand and really build into their repertoire so that they can be better. Just have an understanding of a found, certain foundation rules to this game. That's really what we offering with this first go-round. But trust me, man, it's going to get deep. Mm-hmm. Y'all stick with us, man, because we, we, we offering value all across the board. Yes, There's sir. a lot to talk about. S- speaking of support, are we are we um supporting the artists t- uh, this week or what are we doing? Are we dropping absolutely, a video this week? What absolutely. We, we dropping um you know what's so crazy, y'all? This gonna be a good one. This is support at its finest. This kid right here, um, is my boy, my brother from another. This really he really gave me my my start in terms of promoting. Cause that's really what I started in this game as a supporter. As a fan, I was an avid supporter. That, that's that been in me from the jump. So this kid was a cat that regular shit, kicking it, basement shit, rapping. And um, he was fucking with, he was messing with Ricky Blaze. Ricky Blaze was producing all of his work. And um, young kid by the name of Scrap Jones now, but back then he was young eye. And um, like I said, from day one, I supported his career. I thought he was a super dope artist. Kind of been on a hiatus. My boy back in full effect. See how the world is small. He linked up with another day, one of mine's. My boy Lucky Lefty. My boy Infinite the Bandit. If you know him, you know him. If you don't, you don't. But yeah, they linked up and they they making music together now. And I think it's super dope. They shot a video the other day down there in Florida. That's where they that's where they moving and grooving at right now. The name of it is Chaperone. It's out on YouTube. I advise everybody to tap in. You know what I mean? The nigga tripping, he would definitely be the chaperone, man. So <laughs> tap into that. We're going to get into that right now. We're going to get into that right now. This is Young Ock, Scrap Jones, chaperone people. Let's get into it, y'all. Uh. Just, just, just to make this. Just to make this. Just to make this. Shit, shit. You can hate me now. 
But that shit ain't gonna help you It's been a little minute since I gave y'all Some shit y'all can step to But I'm back on my job, I'm back on my shit Yeah, the engine in the back of the whip Still packing the grip I'm the chaperone if a nigga want trip I'm the chaperone if a nigga want trip I ain't hotter than a the bitch, then what you call this? Take a chick on the ride, then I make a call left Hello, <laughs> yeah that's that money calling, so it's adios, yeah, vamanos, the roll is yours, like my tan off that pile of coke. <laughs> and these niggas thought I was done, though. Call a reverend, I'm back on my run, yo. Left the booth of bullet holes and gun smoke, damn. I've been growing up since y'all last seen me. Life is hard, but what God is easy. Life is hard, but what God is easy now. But that shit ain't gonna help you. It's been a little minute since I gave y'all some shit y'all can step to. But I'm back. And we back, people, and we back. I hope y'all feeling that visual, super dope. I don't know the director that shot it, can't even shout him out, but fire, fire visual, my boy Imp got a little cameo on, doing what he do, champagne campaign and how we usually do it. Dope visual, man, dope visual. Shout out my boy Scrap Jones. Good to see you back in the um, back in the workspace, getting to it, back in the kitchen cooking. Hope to see more from you, my brother. Glad I could support the function this night. That's what the topic is all about, and that's what we're doing in real time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, people, support. Support. If you ain't getting it, give it. Just give mm. it at least. You know mm. what I'm saying? Even if you ain't getting it, uh -huh. just give it, man. That's what it's really all about, man. Shout out my, my supporting hosts, my co-hosts you know in the back. You know that? Doing you know what that? they do, how they do it, how they do you it. You know that? Yeah, but this the AP show, people, where we articulate in progression. And, um, yeah, that's what we here to do. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, right? I'm an influencer now. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to get into, you know, doing what influencers do. Uh -huh. That's it, people. That's it. That's it. So, yeah, man. Tap in. Articulate Progression Records YouTube channel. Tap on um, the link is in my bio and Instagram page. Like I said, you... All you starving artists, you send your music in, you send your content in, we doing the submissions, we get you up here, get your video played, we give you a dope review, real time. Interviews as well Interviews coming soon. Interviews as well coming soon, so submit that music in, let's get y'all up here, we doing a highlighted artist of the week, so this week's highlighted artist will be Scrap Jones since we just premiered this video Shout on out the Scrap. platform. Shout That's out Scrap Jones. So we gonna have him up there this week, so you can go on it. On the um, site, check him out on the link. We're going to have some links there for his work. And, um, yeah, just check him out. Dope shit coming. Dope shit on the way. We're not playing with y'all people, man. So, look, I want y'all to have a progressive week. I want y'all to get that support. Get that support. And just keep doing what y'all doing, man. Be great, man. Appreciate y'all for tapping into the AP show. Where we articulate progression. And we up out of here, y'all.